game. Just can you sum up how you guys looked out there and just where you think the offense is at this point? Yeah, I think I mean it was it was a great day. Obviously, this is this is, this is uh, when you commit to Arizona State, you got to go through some of these days with 100 and whatever degrees it is. But it's fun. I mean, offense looks sharp. We got a lot of moving parts right now. We have guys who can who are very versatile on the edges. We got guys who can play our two man or nine man inside. And that, that core offensive line is, is really doing their thing. They're communicating well. I think as an offense, we're really seeing it. And that's the biggest thing, eyes, hands, and feet. And going against our defense in 16 days in a row, you know, it's getting to that point where they know us just as well as we know them. But it's fun because we don't get, we don't get any type of man coverage like we do with them. It, it's, it's next level, it's, it's, and it's, it's fun. It's preparing us. You guys are a little banged up at receiver right now. How has that changed things? Um, I wouldn't say it, cha it hasn't changed much. Obviously, we like I said, we got guys who are versatile. I think the thing is, what's so great about our offense is we have smart players first. You can't play in this offense if you're not smart. So we got guys that can play on the left side, right side, inside and outside, and we're mixing it up. And we got mismatches all around the board. You know, it's been proven that Mike Novell's offense really works when it's balanced between the, r the run and the pass. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this running game, uh, the caliber of their play, really helps you to achieve that balance? Everywhere? Oh, absolutely. I think I think what's what's an amazing dynamic with who we have with Kalen and Demario. You know, we can point and say we're running the ball right here. Go stop it. That's how no huddle offenses really work. It's not about all the schemes and amazing plays you drop week to week. It's the fact that we're going to run the ball and impose our will on you, and that's what makes us. That's what's going to make us dynamic this year, and that's what's going to give those those skinny, fast guys a whole bunch of love outside. I mean, as far as a quarterback, is that less, less pressure on you when you know you just got got this running game uh, backing you up? Absolutely. I mean, I, I don't like to call it pressure. I just like to call it opportunities. More opportunities will arise when uh, when we can run that ball, run the power, run anything we want really, dial it up because um, we have such an amazing interior lineman and those new guys on the outside are doing a great job. They're fast and they're physical. So, like I said, it's, it's going to be fun. Everything's fun when you can run the football. How would you assess your camp so far this year performance? I, th I think the biggest thing is I've grown as a leader, obviously, and the thing about being a leader is bringing other leaders along. There's going to be bad days, there's going to be good days, but the main thing is that you know, I don't got to make, I don't got to make a play every single play and that's really what I've learned is that whether it's a check down whether it's thrown away whether it's might even be taking a sack I'm learning every single day because adverse situations like we see out there it's only preparing us for when the you know the real seconds are on the clock and a uh, pressure situation is, is ready. How's this uh, stadium coming to fold? You played there today? What's it, what's it like? What's the difference? Oh it's great I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be opposing team coming in that south end zone or that north end zone I'll tell you that right now they're going to be nice and close to that end zone. Um, it's going to be loud. We have the best student, se student section and fan base in the entire country. I've seen a lot of, a lot of different uh, away, away fields, but nothing is going to be like this because it's dynamic and like I said, it's going to be loud, boy. There's one aspect of the offense that you're extremely proud of as far as improving from day one to camp until now? I think physicality. I think when we have those goal line situations, third down situations, I don't think we got to trick anybody right now. Um, like I said, we can run the ball right down the throw. We got with Nick, with what Nick, Christian, and V can do in the interior, it's pretty special. And that's what's, that's what's going to be the most fun, is that the way we've Im improved and performed in the, in the run game, it's going to be fun. Would it be fair to say that the passing game is going to look different uh, this year than it was last year? Absolutely. I mean, I think, I think it could look different. I think we have the capabilities of really using sideline to sideline, no matter what hash are we on. And that's what's exciting, because we really do have some, some serious speed in the slot position, whether it be Gump, whether it be DJ. and. Um, it's going to be, we're going to be able to stretch teams vertically, but nothing nothing happens without the run game. What do you, you know, DJ Well? What, what do you expect from him this year? Well, I'm, I, like, I, I've known DJ for about, room with him for about three years now. I know him better than, I, I try to say it, I know him better than his family. What I can, ex what we can expect from DJ Foster this year is that with, with the ability that he can do as a receiver, he can get some serious separation. So you're going to see some serious explosive plays from him because when he catches the ball, the game, now the game has just started. So And the thing is, he can get open. So once he's open and I get him the ball, it's up to him to do what he does. And that's and that's breaking tackles because he's the most physical 190-pound kid I've ever met in my life. Do you think a lot of maybe too much has been made as far as him adjusting to wide receiver role? Because the first yeah. three years over here, I mean, he was catching receptions quite a bit every game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think if you... Yes, Saguaro coaches, whatever. They say, you know, seven on seven. That's what DJ did that every single day, every every rep. He's he's great. At, he's just a natural. He has a natural ability to get off press coverage, soft coverage, and step on people's toes. The separation that he can get from the inside outside, um, use him in speed motion. It's amazing what he can do, and it's just exciting for him because 
he's he's eager to improve every single day and he knows that and they're putting him in there no one works harder than DJ no one has to know more than the offense than him and it's going to be exciting to see what he can do I know that you're with the recruiting coordinator for De Devin Lucian uh, it seems like that guy really came as advertised I mean three years at UCLA you just expected a certain caliber wide receiver looks like he really hit the ground running from day one absolutely Devin Devin might be you know from the conversations that we've had whether it be texting or phone calls or in the building he's one of the hungriest kids I've ever met in my entire life he really he really came in here with huge goals and now he's come, coming in here understanding that he's a team guy and that's huge for him because he's staying humble, he's putting his head down and working and he's getting his respect through his play and what he can do is, is pretty unbelievable but he's learning the offense, he's a very heady player and you're going to see him in the end zone this year. It wasn't fun going against last year's uh, cornerbacks, and this, these year's cornerbacks are maybe even just a little better. Oh, yeah. When we get down third and long against our, our defense right now, and they're, they're in man-to-man -man coverage, sometimes you've got to really look left, right. You know, which, who do I want to attack? Do I want to attack Quishy? No. Lloyd? No. Um, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing. And the fact that we're so blessed that we are going to be able to go against that every single day, um, it's going to be interesting to see what the Bird Gang can do this year. Give us a lot of good field position. And what's that dynamic? Talking about Jordan Simone now, mm -hmm. good friend, roommate, and then you're seeing him on, on the field there. What's that dynamic like? Is it fun? Is it weird? Is it? You know, you can't you can't outsmart Jordan because he's one of the most prepared, hardest working, confident players I've ever met and been around. From him on scout team, he was a, he was an intense, smart football player, and just seeing the command that he has over the leadership, the understanding of coverages, understanding of plays, it's amazing to see what he can do because. Um, I'll, you know, it's a chess match between him and I, and once he goes out into game day, he prepares so well, I feel bad for quarterbacks who have to go against him. <laughs> Friday will be a year that his anniversary of when he got a scholarship. It's pretty oh, yeah. amazing, isn't it, what he's been able to do here? Absolutely. He was a kid. Like, he like I, exemplifies what chip on the shoulder means. We used to go get our checks, all scholarship guys, and he would be, you know, he'd give us, he'd make a smart call and be, hey, can I come before? And, and, and now that he is, he's still so humble. He's still the hardest working guy. He's still one of the, he beats me to the building. We got a race from, from the house to see if you can get here first. And uh, I can always just count on him being a guy. You, can, you know, he can, he can, he'll be my godfather one day. That's just that type of kid that he is. Thank you. Of course.